Good morning, students. Let's start with a new chapter, chapter number 13, Pythagoras Theorem, Module 1. Practice set 48, question number 1. In the figures given below, find the value of x. Let's see sub question 1. We have segment LM, segment MN. The angle formed between these two uh, segments is nothing but 90 degree since they are perpendicular to each other. Now here we have segment LN which is opposite to angle M which is 90 degree. The side which is opposite to 90 degree angle is called as hypotenuse. So segment LN is the hypotenuse. Let's see the given part. In triangle LMN, length of LM is equals to 7 units, length of MN is 24 units. We need to find the value of X. LN is taken as X, so we have to find out the length of LN. Solution. In right angle triangle LMN, angle M is equals to 90 degree. Now dear children, as one of the angle of the triangle is 90 degree, so we can apply Pythagoras theorem. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, side 1 square plus side 2 square is equals to hypotenuse square. Now, LM can be taken as side 1 mn can be taken as side 2 that is these are the perpendicular sides and ln which is nothing but hypotenuse so lm square plus mn square is equals to ln square now let's put up the values 7 square plus 24 square is equals to x square now dear children tell me what is the value of 7 square? Yes, 7 square is 7 into 7, 49. Plus 24 into 24 is 576 is equals to x square. Now let's add up 49 and 576. So value of x square is 625. Now we need the value of x to find out the value of x we'll have to remove this square so we'll be taking square root so square root of x square is equals to square root of 625 x square can be written as x into x and Six twenty-five can be written as twenty-five into twenty-five, or we can also write it as five into five into five into five. Now the numbers under square root sign, whichever is two times, will be written one time after taking square root. So we get x is equals to twenty-five, and so we can write the final answer therefore value of x is 25 practice at 48 question 1 sub question 2 we have segment pq segment qr these two sides are perpendicular to each other so angle q is nothing but 90 degree length of pq is 9 length of qr is x and here we have segment pr which is opposite to angle q that is 90 degrees so this pr is nothing but it is called as hypotenuse and length of hypotenuse is given as 41 so now we can write given in triangle pqr PQ is equals to 9 units, PR is equals to 41 units. What we need to find out is value of X. Solution. 
in right angle triangle PQR, angle Q is 90 degree. Now, since triangle is a right angle triangle, which property we can apply, children? Yes, we can apply Pythagoras theorem. So we can write, therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, side 1 square plus side 2 square is equals to hypotenuse square. Now PQ is side 1, QR can be taken as side 2, and PR is hypotenuse. So length of PQ square plus length of QR square is equals to length of PR square. Let's put up the value. 9 square plus x square is equals to 41 square. 9 square is 81. 41 square is 41 into 41. That is 1681. So we get 81 plus x square is equals to 1681. Now this 81 is in addition with x square on the left hand side. When it is going to shift on the right hand side after transposition, it will become minus. So we get x square is equals to 1681 minus 81. Now 1681 minus 81 will have 1600. So x square is 1600. Now to get the value of x, we will have to take square root. So square root of x square is equals to square root of 1600. We can write reason as taking square roots on both sides. x square can be written as x into x and uh, 1600 can be written as 4 into 4 into 10 into 10. And then the numbers which are 2 times inside the square root sign can be written as 1 time when we take square root. So we can write x is equals to 4 into 10 that is 4 into 10 is 40. So we can write the final answer. The value of x is 40. Practice at 48. Question number 3. In the right angle triangle LMN angle M is equals to 90 degrees. If length of LM is equals to 12 centimeter and length of ln is equals to 20 centimeter find the length of mn now let's draw the figure in triangle element now as we have been given lm is nothing but 12 then mn we have to find out and ln is 20. Now we have been already given angle M is 90 degrees. So you can see angle M is marked as 90 degree. Let's see the given in triangle element. LM is equals to 12 centimeter. Length of ln is equals to 20 centimeter. What we have to find out is length of MN. Solution. In right angle triangle LMN, angle M is equals to 90 degrees. Now since angle M is 90 degree and triangle is right angle triangle, so we can apply Pythagoras theorem. Now the property says side 1 square plus side 2 square is equals to hypotenuse square. That is sum of squares of sides forming right angles is equal to hypotenuse square. Now let's see 
which are the perpendicular sides segment lm and mn are nothing but the perpendicular sides and ln is hypotenuse so we can write therefore length of lm square plus length of mn square is equals to length of ln square now let's put up the values 12 square plus mn is we have to find so length of mn square will remain same and length of ln is 20 so is equal to 20 square now dear children tell me what is the value of 12 square 12 square is 12 into 12 how much it is 144 20 square yes it's 20 into 20 400 so we can write the next step 144 plus length of mn square is equals to 400 now 144 is an addition with length of mn square on the left so when it goes to the right goes on the right hand side it will become minus so we can write length of mn square is equals to 400 minus 144 now 400 minus 144 is 256 so we got length of mn square is equals to 256 now we need the length of mn so to remove the square what we will do yes we need to take up square root so let's take up the square root on both sides so square root of l length of mn square is equals to square root of 256 length of mn is equals to 16 that is square root of 256 is 16 so we can write the final statement therefore the length of mn is 16 centimeters Question number four. The top of a ladder of length 15 meters reaches a window nine meters above the ground. What is the distance between the base of the wall and that of the ladder? Let's see. Uh, here we have segment AB, which represents a wall. Here we have segment BC, which is uh, representing the ground. And AC is nothing but ladder. Now the ladder, as uh, you know, it is always kept in the inclined position, and we can see a rectangle at point A. This rectangle represents a window. Now AB and AC, that is wall and the ground, they are always perpendicular to each other. So we can see angle B is nothing but 90 degree and AC is ladder. We can write the statements. Let segment AC represent ladder, segment AB represent wall and segment BC represent the distance between the base of the wall and that of the ladder. Now we can write given that is the length of the segments in triangle ABC length of AC is nothing but 15 meters that is length of the ladder and length of AB that is wall is nothing but 9 meters that is window is at the height of 9 meters so uh, let's see what we have to find we have to find out the distance between the wall and the ladder it is represented by BC so we have to find length of BC solution in right angle triangle ABC angle B is 90 degree as one of the angle is 90 degree and the triangle is right angle so we can apply Pythagoras theorem so by Pythagoras theorem side 1 square plus side 2 square is equals to hypotenuse square AB 
is one of the side and BC is second side and AC is hypotenuse. So we can write length of AB square plus length of BC square is equals to AC square. Let's put up the values. 9 square plus length of BC square is equals to now length of AC is 15. So 15 square. Let's see what is 9 square. 9 square is 81. 15 square is how much it is children? 225. So we can write 81 plus length of BC square is equals to 225. Now this 81 on the left hand side is in addition with length of BC square. When it is going to be transposed on the right hand side, it will become minus. So length of BC square is equals to 225 minus 81. 225 minus 81 is 144. So let's take the square root. Square root of length of BC square is equals to square root of 144. So we can write the reason taking square roots on both sides. Square root of 144 is 12. So we can write length of BC is equals to 12. BC is nothing but distance between the base of the wall and that of the ladder. So that is 12 centimeter, 12 meters. So we can write the final statement. The distance between the base of the wall and that of the ladder is 12 meters. Dear children, please note, you need to solve Practice set 48, question number 1, sub question 1 and 2, then question number 3 and question number 4. I hope you understood all the sums nicely. Thank you.